Hello Python programmers. So this is not the video where I will create any project or explain you any concept but it is one of the most important video of our machine learning with python video series because in this I am gonna introduce you and explain you in detail the working environment on which we are gonna work throughout this video series. So stay connected because because it's gonna be super important for you okay so before the installation process i would like to answer two of the most commonly asked questions by the user or by the students first is why do we need such a environment i mean we have worked on editors like sublime text and atom spider multiple editors and we have also worked on interactive shell like python interactive shell and cmd so so why do we need something like a different working environment so i'm gonna answer you this question and second is basically what is jupyter notebook what is the history of jupyter notebook so we are gonna first discuss these two questions so first of all let's see why is Jupyter Notebook so important for machine learning. Editor is really good when you are working on big projects like you are working on web development where you have multiple uh, files interrelated to each other you have to uh, edit multiple files simultaneously then this uh, then these editors are really good but they aren't good when we have to test something or we have to practice on any uh, certain concepts because it will become very much time consuming to uh, save a file and then run this so it can so it becomes very much time consuming okay now on the other hand the interactive shell like the python interactive shell or simply cmd provides you that advantage of uh, of practicing and running small individual units but there is no way that you can go back to a specific unit like you cannot uh, reuse a specific unit and these both disadvantage can be solved using a jupyter notebook now jupyter note notebook have stretchable units or cells which can be as long as you uh, as you wish you can include multiple commands on a specific unit and on the other hand it's really very fast because just like interactive shell you can run the uh, cells itself in the notebook so this answers you the question that why is jupyter notebook very important for machine learning because it solves both of your question it saves your code as well as it's very good for testing and learning the concepts because you can just quickly run your commands and see your output okay so now let's come to the history of jupyter notebook Jupyter was initially the part of IPython project. Uh, you must have heard of the IPython notebook that is a part of IPython project. And after seeing the capability of this uh, Jupyter notebook, it also starts to support uh, languages like R. Then after splitting from the IPython project, it got the name of Jupyter Notebook which consists of three basic languages JU for Julia, PYTE for Python and R for basically R. So this is what the history of Jupyter is. I am not gonna go very deep into the history because it's useless <laughs> you don't want to know that what is history okay so now let's come straight to the installation of jupyter notebook so just like you install packages and modules in python you will install jupyter notebook i have 
installed him here you can see you can simply just write pip install jupyter notebook and it will install a bunch of uh, supporting libraries and then when you want to run a specific cell what you can do is the ideal method of running a jupyter notebook is to go to the folder now like uh, where is my machine learning folder so let's create a folder first so okay and shift plus mouse right click this is the shortcut for windows user now i don't really know the shortcut for linux and mac users to open the command window so we'll open up our shell here and we just need to write one command which is jupyter notebook then press enter so there you can see the jupyter notebook automatically opens into your default browser for me it's uh, mozzarella firefox but if that doesn't happen then what you can do is copy this uh, URL from here and paste into your any browser okay so where it is yeah mozzarella firefox okay so now as we have installed this jupyter notebook through pip method you will find a python 3 option here so there you can see it's opening our ipython notebook and this is how the window will look now i will explain you the some of the important uh, options that you need to know but first of all let's go to our home page and there you can see if you select this uh, file you will have multiple options here like to delete and there you can see it's uh, it shows that it's running and it's updated a few seconds ago it's showing the size and all the things here if you select the running file you can see that this win uh, this file is running so let's get back to our editor and there you can see it's having a uh, formation like cells let's first simply print uh, let's say hello world the cliche program and there you can see and let me show you that how is these cells interrated let's say if a is equal to 50 and i run this and if I say a is equal to 20 then let's print a so first it says 20 because the last value of a here is 20 but as we know that the Jupyter notebook cells are reusable so you can run this cell again and now if you run this print a you will see 50 here because we have run this command again and this was the feature which was missing in our interactive shell so so this can not only be used to just run your program it is also very good to create a short notes because you can create headings here uh, let's say headings here of different sizes let's say uh, Jupyter tutorial and if we run this there you can see it's showing a good uh, heading and we can use to create some short notes for us which are digitally accessible for us and there are a few shortcuts that you can use let me show you if you go to help him and write keyboard shortcuts there you can see f for find and replace and a bunch of shortcuts that you can use to just uh, do your work more fast now although the uh, jupyter notebook automatically saves but you can just save this by 
pressing CTRL plus S and you can see last checkpoint a few seconds ago that is you have saved this a few seconds ago now let me explain you these both rows because they are very important this is for save this is to add a new cell or a new unit this is to remove your unit let's say I want to remove this so it will cut this unit out this is to copy the selected unit this is to paste the unit uh, cell below the selected cell these two are to move uh, the cells this is to run this is to stop the process this is to rerun the process and this is to restart the kernel in case the browser hangs and this is the option showing you different uh, ways you can create a unit uh, like I add a cell here and I select let's say I want to create a markdown so I'll create hello and it will create a small markdown and if I say that I want this to be a raw NBN convert and I say print hello so there you can see it will show the uh, show the unit in in the cell format but it's not executed this is what uh, this feature means and then this can be used to see that what these commands are there you can see it explains you each and every options that are present on your Jupyter uh, window and from here you can open a new Jupyter notebook you can open a previously created you can make a copy of the current Jupyter notebook you can save as now now just remember that the file created in your uh, folder is a IPython notebook and you cannot open this file into uh, any of the editor or or simply notepad you have to open this using Jupyter notebook only so where is my Jupyter notebook here it is okay so there there you can see we are having multiple options here that you can explore with this option you can even rename your file from here you can rename your Jupyter notebook file from here and after you are done with your work you have uh, completed your work what you can do is you can save this obviously <laughs> you have to save your work before exiting and just close this command prompt from here so this was the detailed explanation of what Jupyter Notebook is how Jupyter Notebook is installed and how you can work on Jupyter Notebook so uh, I hope you like it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll discuss the one of the most important package of Python for machine learning which is NumPy so meet you there bye bye